Hey what's up guys, it's Mike with Alpha Reptile back with another video today. Today is an exciting video. If you're new to the channel or you've never seen this channel before, make sure you click that subscribe button as well as follow me on Instagram somewhere on the screen right now. I post there most days and you guys hear projects in advance there as opposed to here on YouTube. Now with that said, I think I have expressed to you guys my love for my morning geckos. My morning geckos are just down there. I have expressed my love for them in the videos a couple times and they're becoming more and more popular. I get messages and emails and things from people all across Canada less so in the United States, but definitely all across Canada, asking me if I have any. Typically I sell them pretty quickly, but what I ended up doing is getting 12 more. What you see in front of you is my current morning gecko tank. It's just a 12 by 12 by 12. It houses three morning geckos, and I believe I have two offspring right now. But you can see up there that I do have a couple more eggs. Actually, that one might be very close to hatching right now. And then I also have some in that piece of choya wood down there. They decided to lay their eggs in there. So this tank is just kind of a temporary tank that I meant to set up and then redo another one for them eventually. Unfortunately, I never got to the redoing part. And this is just the tank that is starting to thrive and do really well. Now something that I enjoy about this tank is that there isn't a lot of aggression between the morning geckos. They aren't eating their offspring or anything like that. So, so there's nothing along those lines to worry about when it comes to keeping them together. However, I did want to upgrade them. So I'll close that so we don't have any escape peas. I decided to pick up this bad boy. So this is just a 12 by 12 by 18. It's a decent tank. Um, it's a jungle jewel tank. I know that just because it looks exactly like one of their tanks and I also asked the girl what it was and that's exactly what she said it was. So it is a jungle jewel tank. There are about eight to 12 geckos in here. Um, so I don't know exactly how many there are. I know there's two or three grown adults and then there's a bunch of babies. Um, I just moved them into my room, so I don't know if you guys can actually see the one in the very back there, but you might be able to just see it in the very back, right under the moss. There's also an egg back there, and it comes out up here. I really need to go in here and just risk scaring a bunch of them and trim this plant back, because it really blocks out pretty much all of the light. Unfortunately, there's just two Zoomed, uh, like the spot LED bulbs. I guess that's a bit better. Uh, now it's just all way blown out, but <laughs> you can see up top there. It is some, I believe that's Pilea spruciana maybe? I'm not sure, 100%. And then the Zoomed LED Nanos. But the rest of the tank is in kind of disheveled state, I won't lie. Uh, I do want to change it up a little bit in order to kind of keep these guys going and keep them breeding really well. So what I plan to do is actually set up another tank for them, another 12, 12, 18, and keep them in here for now. I'm going to move these guys into here, and then I'm going to set up another 12, 12, 18 for right here. This tank is being sold very soon, so it won't be there much longer, so I will have a spot to place this one as well, not on top of Tig's tank. <laughs> I think that's a little, it's not all that heavy, which is good, because if it was, then I definitely wouldn't put it on Tig's tank. But uh, here, I guess, we'll go hunting and see if we can find any. You can see one on the backdrop there. Uh, there is a really big female that likes to hang out in this little like fridge magnet holder thingamajigger. I did see a couple babies bouncing around as well. And then off to this side. Uh, yeah, I don't see, I don't see too much else right now, to be honest, unfortunately. But you guys get the gist. I just wanted to make a relatively short announcement video suggesting that I got some new animals. Uh, for those of you that made it to the end of the video or towards the end of the video, I recognize that this was totally clickbait. I just want to kind of test to see and kind of proof of concept to myself that unfortunately clickbait is what works. Um, the title uh, 12 new geckos really does kind of help the algorithm say, hey, this is what I want and this is what people need to see. So uh, if you guys clicked on it, thanks for clicking. Hopefully you stuck around. 
And if you didn't, well, I guess I just need to up my clickbait game for the next video. <laughs> I would love to hear your guys' morning gecko experience if you'd like to get them. Uh, there are a couple different types I'll throw on screen right now for you guys to check out. There is type A, B, and C, and I think there might be the emergence of a type D, like a fourth type. Uh, the Hawaiian type is a really, really cool one, and I know a couple people in Canada have them, and uh, I am I am on their wait list for them because they are such cool critters, and they do so well. Uh, they do great with dart frogs. They do great on their own. They're just awesome geckos. I really do think it's worth mentioning that if you guys are in Canada, specifically Calgary, Alberta, and want morning geckos, I do have a plethora of them now. Uh, they will be. $60 each and then if you buy multiples I can give you a discount so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the video I will be making for those of you that watched my other morning gecko video I asked if you guys wanted a video on parthenogenesis which is basically how these geckos reproduce being only female. Uh, the babies are essentially clones of the female. So if you guys would like a video on that, I do have a couple research papers prepared and I will be preparing the, I guess, script and stuff because that's a video that I'm not gonna remember everything up in my big stupid brain. Even though I am, you know, technically a biologist, it's just too much information, so. Now, with that being said, um, I did want to say thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, let me know what your thoughts on morning geckos are in the comments down below. I think they are really cool creatures, and I do think they deserve more recognition in the hobby. They are starting to kind of boom in popularity, which is nice, but, I mean... You know, let's push them a little bit hard. So if you like the video, make sure you smash that like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comment section. If you want to see more of my content, make sure you click that subscribe button and play ding dong ditch with the doorbell next to it. That way you get notified every single time I post a video. If you guys have made it to the very end of the video, would you guys like to start seeing more live streams and things on YouTube? I do do them probably once, maybe twice a week on Instagram, uh, but would you guys like to see them more on YouTube? I think it could be kind of cool and interesting just to get to know you guys. Leave that in the comments down below, and we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Later, guys.